Welcome back to a disappointing episode. Um, I don't know how else to say it. We are at we're at the draft. Who wants to be at the draft right now? I know I don't. Uh, I would love to be doing another episode about a playoff, uh, a playoff run. Unfortunately, that didn't come to the case. There didn't come to fruition. So, with that being said, welcome back to your Thunder Bay North Stars franchise mode. Without the real NHL, this is the next best thing. Except I don't play or watch any games. So, maybe I'll need to start doing that to get my views up. All right. So, where we are. We are... I don't... We're going into the offs. We're going to the offs. We have a draft. Um, currently, we're picking four, six, and ten because we got our butts kicked in the draft lottery. Uh, we're dropped from two to four and from four to six. Ten stayed flat, but there are there's two players in the first round we want to go after. Um, the projected third and the projected fifth overall draft picks uh, in Tornquest and Ekman, a couple Swedes. We're looking to get. Uh, or Ray Bro. Oh, they did not play on the same team. Uh, but Liam Erickson did. Played with Yarn Quest. Uh, but we do want to get we want to get as much value as we can here. He doesn't have the best. He just doesn't have the best anything. <laughs> um, B's overall, A physical, even his defense is B, which is what what scares me if I'm being honest. His shooting is an A minus for a defensive defenseman. That is pretty interesting. Uh, but his NHL ready plays like Char. He's got 6'4. He's 17 years old. He's only going to get better. Um, so he is who we want. Now, Ekman here. I want him because he's 18 years old, playing against men, and had 26 points in 48 games. That is um that's we that's what we want to see here. Now, he has a 200-foot game, offensive uh, creativity, and playmaking ability. So he's either, well, he's a confirmed playmaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had a frog in my throat. Um, so he's a confirmed playmaker. We don't have much else on him, but that's okay. We don't really need too much. Uh, we know we want him. But if we just look at our pins here, just so you have an idea, uh, we have a couple defensemen we want to take, some gems, um, a couple goalies we want to take, and this guy who's a... A <laughs> low scouted franchise, so he's probably just gonna be like a top six guy, but he he's really dropped in in his uh in his overall. So his ranking one forty five to one seventy five. We have him at one ninety two, but when you see the word franchise, you just you need to take the chance because I've done it before. I'm sure we've all done it in our own franchise modes, uh, where you take a chance on somebody like that and. They do turn out to be franchise, or they do turn out to be a high elite, or worst case scenario, they end up being uh, a medium top six, something like that. But you, you do what you can. Just think if there's anything out here that we really need to need to worry about, but it does not look like it. So without further ado, let's pop into the draft. We'll advance day here. Now we are going to have to do some wheeling and dealing to get the picks that we need, but we have assets to do that. We're also going to have to spend some time cleaning out um, some players as we have an abundance of just B-level, C-level prospects that just really don't have a chance to to do anything. So we're picking fourth. Realistically, we want five and we want three. Um, this is all going to change if Arizona takes Yarnquist. So let's go... Let's... Uh, I'm risking it here. We're going to go. He goes first. Erickson goes first. Medium elite. Sniper, we thought. 82 overall. Very nice. And they take Petrovicki, which is awesome. Uh, definitely did not look as good as as our guys. So I just want to do draft class here. Make sure your own quest is still your own quest. Yes, he is. All right. That's what we want. 100%. So let's trade for this pick. I don't know how much. They don't want to give it up. But it's a third overall, so if I just go like this and I give up the fourth. Oh, we have basically no draft picks. Uh-oh. All right, a fourth and, oh, geez, these are all NHL guys. Was not Bobrovsky. Don't want to give you up yet. Is there any low, low top four? He's a crate. He's a low top four. He's really not progressed. Um, okay, Drysdale. Suki, 
you know what, low top four for Suki. So let's do Suki, who is a former second round pick, if I remember correctly. Third round pick. All right, so Suki in a first for their first, moving up one spot. Will this go through? No. Okay, they want both items, so I don't, I don't think it's going to be too, too much more. Um, Lindstrom's a top 60. He's a draft rights kind of guy. We can resign him or we can't. Not be not anywhere close. Okay. Um, okay. That kind of threw me for a loop. I was not. Will they take Krejci, who is making how much? 1.6 for one more year. He has a $2.4 million. Ah, that's not bad, but we have other guys coming up. We have other guys coming up. Will that go through? Rejected. I was seriously just expecting to come in here and make this happen. And just be like, hey, hey, we have all of we have all the opportunities. So let's go Krejci and Suki. This is way too much to give up here. Trade rejected. Boys and girls, I don't know what to say. We're move, I want to move up one spot. Because if we don't get Charm Quest, then I'll take Ekman with my next pick, with the fourth pick. And yeah. Um, I'll take Ekman and trade, trade the rest. Yeah, woefully insufficient. So, I mean, unless a miracle happens, they don't take the Yarn Quest. I, I just, I don't see it happening. So, Sim pick, and they do seventy six overall defensive defenseman. So not as great as maybe they were, they were hoping for. Um, still pretty good. It's one year away. We knew that. I mean, this guy seems like a can't-miss prospect. He had 127 points. Um, he's just great. He's NHL ready already. But I want to go off the board here and take Ekman. He just... Something about him, my gut tells me that he's somebody we want. Our scout rank has him at four. They actually have him above Estrada. Um, I don't know. My gut tells me to go with Ekman. And I may regret it, but we're going to pick up Ekman here. So let's pick up. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk not getting him. So we're going to make draft here. Magnus Ekum, 79 overall, playmaker, medium elite, things you love to see. What is the what are the Rangers going to do? They will pick up Estrada, 79 overall sniper. So, you know, not much not much difference there. All right. Now this is where we're going to make some trades. So if I look at everything uh, correctly here. Why can't I move? There we go. Uh, I need the 30 early on here. So Oilers pick. So let's trade with the Oilers. What can I get from the Oilers? So that's 37 overall. That's about where Nichols is, the goalie. What other draft picks do they have? I need 63. They have 53. They have 69, which I need. And... Then I need 175, so I'll take the 149 there. I don't need 53, but I wonder if I can get it to move. All right, what will this, what will this get me? And then their first, I don't know. How are these guys contender? So all that for the tenth pick. Um, obviously the favors in our end, so it's not gonna go. Can I get all that for the sixth? Oh, geez. I don't know if I like this one. No. Okay. Okay. If I take out the first and I add in a second next year, and I take out the six and add in the 10, will this go through? Everything they want to get rid of for a first round pick, trade rejected. All right. All right. I'm being greedy. So I'm already asking for two seconds, which is probably the mistake. But I'll go to two seconds, two thirds, and a fifth for the tenth overall pick. Will it go through? Trade reject. Not close to fair value. Well, it really is. All right, let's do this the hard way. Let's go take a timeout. All right. View draft class to make sure there is not something we want right here. But top six, top six. I mean, Hamannick here is going to be better than that. Um, 
but he's three years out, so he's not going to be great. Maybe he is going to be a top six. Wayne Ho, we know nothing about. I don't know why we never drafted him or scouted him. We had so many guys, so many scouts in the area, but that is what it is. There is literally nothing that I'm salivating over. So, yeah, I'm not not too concerned. I mean, this guy would be all right at 37. Or at, yeah, 37. But, okay. Let's look at the second round again. Detroit, that's what, 32, 33, 34. And realistically, I need 35, 36, 37, 38 here from Minnesota. So let's go to Minnesota. All right, what else does Minnesota have? They have a lot on the block, which is what we like to see. All right, they have, oh, two first round picks coming up too. All right, they have a fifth and a sixth. So that's not great. We need the sixth. All right, and can I get their first next year? They're a rebuilder. I'm sure they're going to be good, though. Um, can I do that for the 10th? Probably not, but we'll try. Trade rejected too far off. Figured it would be. But because they're going to be bad next year, hopefully it turns into something. That should go through. Too far off. Okay. What else can I add in? Do they have anything? We have two elite goalies who are growing fantastic. All right, and we'll just keep scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. What do you want that I want to get rid of? Low top six in Samuelson. He's 23, only a 73 overall, so he hasn't grown, but he was our AHL playoff guy, right? So if we look at playoff stats, he had 14 points in, in 15 games. Um, I mean, he hasn't been terrible. Hasn't been terrible at all. But, I mean, if I can... Add him to get this trade to go through. That makes me happier. Trade accepted. All right. So there's one gone. So let's. That was the sixth pick. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, seven to ten. Let's see what happened here. Hamannick was top six. Ward was top six. Prosser was top six. Okay. Call a timeout. Yes, that's what I want. Fine trade. Oh, I don't want to do the trade finder. My bad. All right. Offer trade. That's what I meant to do. So I'm just, bear with me here as I make notes on my pad of paper because that's what the cool kids do. All right, all right, all right. Just take a look into anything crazy in our, in our value here. So Ekman has pretty decent value. Nyquist is up to an 86. Things you love to see. I just want to see it real quick. Goalie's still 85. Yeah, still 85. But Gustafson's finally getting some value back, which is nice to see as well. All right, draft picks. So we have the 38th, which I can use to get Nichols. And we have the 166, which I can use to get Hewitt. All right, so now we need just a bunch of early third round picks and I don't know that's if we go back and just let's take a quick look at the third round one two three so I need really the no I need the end of the second shoot I need the end of the second so I need like a buffalo pick all right let's go to buffalo this is the 62nd overall pick yeah I need 63 so all right what else can we get from buffalo so i get this can i also get 94 no not good enough not good enough so let's go who was the who was before buffalo oh my goodness these trades give me gray hair all right buffalo is right there Vancouver, Winnipeg, Vancouver, or Winnipeg. Let's go Vancouver. Let's hope for the best. Vancouver. They're considered a champion, which is interesting. Quinn Hughes, Pedersen, Lafreniere. Well, Lafreniere had 90 overall. Brock Besser, 89. Help out for sure. Ulevi, Horvat, Saad. They're looking pretty good. They're looking pretty good. They have the 80th pick, which we need. They have the 93rd pick, which we need. All right. All right, so that all helps. So 61, 80. So we're just missing one other third-round pick there. 
Um, all right, so that is a little rich for the tenth. Like, um, not quite the same value. I feel like I can get something else out of them. Can I get a second next year with that? So that's two seconds and two thirds for the tenth overall pick. That goes through. All right. I feel like maybe I could have got more, but I don't know for sure. So now let's try to find a 69th pick, which is early third round. Detroit wants to trade. And that's a 66th overall pick, which is nice. So what can I offer them? What do I have that they want that is worth a third rounder? Kairu, I, I don't want to get rid of. This guy looks really good. Atkinson. Um, Poulin, I don't know what he's going to turn into. Oland isn't going to turn into anything. Is it time to move on from Poulin? All right, let's move on from Poulin. Samuel Poulin. Oh, over 45 skaters. They can't take off anybody. All right, so I got to give them unsigned players. That's not what you want to see. All right, let's go to all skaters. We'll come down the draft board a bit. Right, it probably run here. I'm looking for like a low, low elite. Who is this guy? Something Cohen Evan Nevins, um, former fifth round pick. I mean, I'm probably trading for another low something or other, but that has value in our favor. So what else does Detroit have? Draft picks. Um, they want to get rid of any next year. Can I get a third next year? So this guy for two thirds. That should go through. Okay. Awesome. 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 Let's just see who Vancouver gets in our pick. Sim pick. They go with Ho, who is who is a medium elite. Wow. Okay. Lane Ho. Not too bad. What a pick number 38 here. We are going to pick up a goaltender. Who is looks pretty good. Where is he right here? Erickson also looks good. I kind of want to see what he ends up being. Uh, so I will take a look here. But, okay. So Nichols, he is one year away. Similar style to Semyon Barlamov. Um, Barlamov. Had an okay year in the queue. Nothing, nothing crazy. But I like his style. So we're going to pick up Alan Nichols here. Who is a 70 overall starter. Not bad in the second round here. I just want to see who, what was that guy's name. So we did not get Charm Quest. We got Ekman. We got Nichols. Um, Erickson, right? Is that what I said I liked? Yeah, Erickson looked pretty good. So let's see what he ends up going for. Sim pick. He went next top four. Medium confirmed. All right, so we're going to sim the pick 61 here. Hopefully, I don't want to give up anything. So, oh, Alex Tuck would be nice, but we are laughing in our with how much depth we have right now. So everybody around me is picking up top nine. So I'm hoping Jorgensen's at least a top four. Defensive defenseman, don't be a top six. Don't be a top six. Don't be a top six. Top four D, but he's low. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. All right, 66 overall. All right, early third round here. We are going to pick up Clarkson, who I'm hoping is a medium top four, but he's going to be a low something. Can he be a medium? No, he's a low top four. Shoot. All right, that's okay. We want Silverberg next, who is a goaltender, who I like. He's ranked 82nd. We have the 80th pick. All right, hopefully Silverberg's still there. So far, so good. All right. Oh, medium elite goaltender. Okay, okay. Looks like I may have swung and a miss on, on my guy here. But let's see what Silverberg looks like. See if he's better than the other goalie. All right, we'll make the pick. And he is high elite. Fantastic. 60 overall. High elite. It's things you love to see. Yeah, I mean, both those guys would have been nice to have, but High Elite is fantastic. So this is where I'm nervous. I want Vitaly. 
So let's view draft class here. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's thirteen away. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Sim to pick. Vitaly's gonna be the one before. No, he's not. So as long as he didn't go super early, does not look like it. A lot of low top fours, low top six. I mean, medium elite goalie. Another goalie. Wow, there is some goalies coming up. Fringe starter. So obviously, Philly got the better one there. I know the fringe starter is 68. Um, but Vitaly here. So, oh, he is the next one to be picked. Um, we're just going to go with it. He's going to be a low top six. Or, sorry, low top four, but... Low top four, yep. These stupid gems. Like, I get caught up in it. It's my own fault. But I, I buy into the hype that our scouts say, this guy's a gem, this guy's a gem. I'm like, oh, fantastic, let's do it. And then next thing you know, it's a low something or other, and it's just not not what you want uh, to be picking is low. But, all right, Hewitt, you still here? Mr. Hewitt. Ooh, well, again, low top four. Mr. Hewitt's right here. He is a low franchise, medium franchise. So when he says medium, it makes me feel like it's going to be something at least a little bit better. So a medium franchise, I am going to say Alec Hewitt is a medium top six, is my guess. Does that, do, I have any, do I have any more information on him? He's three years away. So he's going to be a... Oh, 63 medium top six and he is a 51 grinder hall oh, low elite i'd rather a medium top six so he would did not pay out pan out for us and this is we're at the end of our draft so we are just going to sort by potential here and see if anything is sticking against the wall we got some medium elites uh, another goalie, Nicholas Webb, who's five years away. Stevie Fratton is a center, two-way center, five years away. Andre Blacker, five years away. George Rafalski, five years away. Hudson Nugent Hopkins, only four years away. So he, so far, he's a goalie. He might be our pick. Just going to see if there's anything. Um, this guy. Okay, he's confirmed four. The potential was medium elite, potentially a grinder. So do we go Brent Tripp or do we go Nugent Hopkins? Huh. Five, 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 five. Come on, I just want like a two. Three. Low elite though. Well, do I take the chance on the three? Do I go with the guaranteed four? Oh, that's a guaranteed four as well. That's another low elite, though. So that's another defense, too. All right. We'll get out of the elites here, see if there's any confirmed medium top sixes, what they're like, five, five. All five years. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I think we're going to go with the winger. The... Medium top six. Uh, so not Nugent Hopkins. Who is the winger? Brett Tripp. Welcome to the team. You are a swing and a miss. All right. Bottom six. Medium bottom six. Not an close to medium elite. But overall, we got Ekman. We did miss out on your uh, quest. Uh, then we got... Nichols, Jorgensen, Clarkson, Silverberg, Vitaly, Hewitt, and then he swung and a miss in, in a trip. But all right, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Washington traded a second for a second and a four. So I'm guessing he just moved up a bit. And let's look at where we are at for our contracts here. I have not, I usually spend time trying to figure out the lines and I think that beforehand I haven't. I apologize. I just have not done that yet. So let's just look at all expiring. All expiring and see where 
Um, so obviously we need to get night clips, but I want to wait till the resign phase. That way I don't burn any, burn anything on a contract. Um, Liam Foody, he was wanting quite a bit, I think. He's down to 1.875 for two years. You know what? That's not a terrible, not a terrible contract. I don't, I don't know. It's not great, but not terrible, if you know what I mean. I am missing paperwork on some of these guys here because I was keeping track of a couple things, and I don't see it. So that's upsetting. That really grinds my gears, and actually, bear with me here. I might make some noise. I apologize. There's the piece of paper I was looking for. All right. Does it have... Foodie wanted 2.625 for one year. So he's come down 800 grand, wants a second year, wants to re-sign. So let's do the 85% trick. Where's my calculator? 1.875 times 0.85. He wants 1.6. Yeah, I can do 1.6. I have quite a bit of money left over, so that's exciting too. Lindstrom, I mean, we have so many defensive prospects. I just I can't do it. Um, this was the guy to get me over the cap. I'm like, why is he $9 million? Cool him in, same thing. Uh, we're not going to resign, or we're not going to sign to his ELC be, just because of his uh, potential there. I don't think that really fits into what we're we're looking for. So NHL goalie coach, the only coach expiring. Where is NHL goalie coach? We'll just... He wants to be promoted assistant coach. You can take that dream and say no. So I'll just offer you 800, 850. You should come back. I mean, we have a pretty good, pretty good team here. Scout wise, we got to resign a bunch. It looks like I'm okay with that one. So Russia guy only wants to be two years. We'll do it and. SAHL guy, we'll do it. You will notice that some of the regions may not be perfect. It's because I was playing around with stuff to make sure everywhere I got scouted. I have my little spreadsheet here, which I use. It's kind of a pain in the butt, um, but it works. Uh, US Central, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the Q guy. And I definitely don't know about this guy. So we'll leave that. We'll probably have to resign a couple scouts here. So it looks like we got a US East, USA East. We have a. Who else needs it? QJM, QJ, Quebec Minor Junior Hockey League. There we go. I coached a couple kids who played in the QMJHL. So we got USA Central. Who else am I not offering? So that's it. Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, there it is right there. All right. What we'll was go next? That's fine. Foodie's back. Great. And let's just look at the go to contracts. All right. Let's make what we have to do here. Apologize. Let's move the mic a little bit. So it makes a sound. I apologize. All right. So Klim Costin, top nine forward, fantastic contract. Don't care if he falls or not, even though he has max trade value right now. We're gonna keep him. Wongrowski, I mean, he's 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 a staple on the team now. He's up to an 88. Had a decent season for us. Really fits in that top pairing, so we're gonna get him more minutes. Alex all dropped a little bit. Nylander dropped a little bit, but these guys weren't going anywhere. Wierenski, I like. Um, Nyquist. Up to an 86. He is going to fit very nicely on our top top six next year, hopefully. Uh, Dante Fabro's back. Lucas Raymond's still here. Holt still. We have way too many players. We're going to have to make some trades, I think, going in, in the offseason. Krejci, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with him because I'm guessing there's going to be some growth here and some defensemen, which we're going to have to worry about, um, especially with Ekman. He's already 79. So that is already potential. We're supposed to have like shoemakers and things coming here. Uh, Lindstrom, we're going to release you, buddy. I'm sorry. Just can't do it. Just looking at all these guys who who we have. Um, Kotkov, release, can't do it. Uh, Bobrovsky, we're going to wait one more 
one more round, I think. We'll sign you if we need to. Anderson, uh, Suki, uh, Kuliman, you're gone, buddy. Release. All right. And in terms of goaltenders, uh, Thibault, Thibault, Mr. Thibault, okay. So if we remember correctly, he was a 60 at the beginning of the year, so he grew to a 72. Uh, Leidman, where's Leidman? Leidman was a 48, and he grew to a 60. So seeing some nice growth there. Uh, Fedoric or Wolf, one of these guys are going to have to go, I think. We'll offer this guy a contract with him as ELC. Um, really, really, really need to see some growth out of him. I'm going to offer him a contract the minute July 1st hits. Because I don't want him to like grow into a 90 and have a fantastic year and have to pay him $18 million a year. I want to get as much value out of him as I can. Um, so we'll advance day. We'll see who signs and who doesn't. I don't see any issues. Um, all right. Well, you were a goalie coach last year. So I don't know why now you don't think you are a goalie coach anymore. I don't know. Sven Nyquist. Welcome to the team. Thibault. Thibault. Welcome to the team. Looks like you're going to play the juniors still. So go to contracts. See if there's any more expiring. All expiring. Nope. Nope. We'll go to unsigned just to make sure there's no crazy, crazy goalie. But Nichols being a starter and 70 overall. Things you love to see. This high elite though. That's great. I can't wait to see trade values. Let's just do forwards. So in forwards we have Ekman. Did I know Ekman was a forward? Yeah, he was like, sorry, Ekman's the guy I took in the, um, no, sorry, yes, Ekman is who I took instead of, instead of Jordan Quest. So yes, center, forward, okay. That's right, we missed out on our, on our, uh, the um, defenseman we wanted. So we got Bobrovsky sitting there, low top six in uh, Banks. I don't know if Banks is going to make it or not in the end. And a couple bottom feeder guys here. I wish I could just get rid of. Um, and then he would end up being a low elite. Which still isn't ter terrible. But defenseman, we have Anderson, who is a low elite. These are all lows. Suki, Jorgensen, Clarkson, Vitali, All lows. So nothing great. But let's head into the free agency. We're going to take a look at coaches here. And Maxwell Randall, welcome to the team. Or welcome back. Jurgen Heck, these are all scouts, so that's good. We do, we're, we're going to lose three scouts, so we do need to um, make sure we can do that. But let's look at hiring coaches here. All we need is a goalie coach. I just want to see the best goalie coach available, which is this guy. We are going to offer you as much money as we can, Jerome. You have a terrible record as a head coach, 92, 115, 17. But if I can offer you $1.5 million even, can I keep going? I can keep going. Just filler right now is all I'm trying to do on the air. But if we can get you up a little bit, so hopefully this stops going soon. 1.92. Now we are going to go and juggle the coach. So offer contract. I offer you a million to almost a million dollars more than what you're asking for. Hopefully that's enough. Now there are some really nice, I think we've already had Howden, haven't we? I remember correctly, Joshua Howden. Yeah, that's our old coach. That's our old coach. So he had a good year. I mean, 57, 17, and 8, and he gets fired. Just redonkulous. Um, but probably because he had a terrible team fit. Is there anybody that just jumps off the page? Is like 78%. I've never seen it that high, but... 71%. That might be one of the highest I've seen it, too. He loves everybody we love. Doesn't like Krejci, but right now I don't love Krejci either. Huh. Can I... I mean, you're only... Huh. Okay, let me think of that one. I don't know. I don't. I like the coaches we have already, so I don't want to make any rash decisions. So, NHL, 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 NHL. All right, not what you want to see. OHL, Mar is that Martin St. Louis? Oh, Maurice. But we need a couple U.S. guys. USA all the way. Kidding. 
Well, maybe they're just still on the team because they don't appear. And we're still at 20, 20 contracts, so I don't know. Oh, I just had to wait for the next screen. All right. We'll go to Q because we need one for the Q. Um, B minus, good enough for me. Don't have high standards for scouts, so we'll get we'll get you on the scouting uh, scouting staff here, and we need two U.S. guys. So we got Philip Rivers, actually Peyton, but I'm getting ready for football season, even though it's only March. And who has I don't know what do we want to look for here? Um, scout efficiency. All right, this guy looks to be the best. Is he? He's a C, so. Zach Castles, welcome to the Thunder Bay North Stars. Two years. That's all right. All right. We got our scouts. That's all we need. All right. First things first, we are going to offer a contract to our goaltender. So I had to goalies. Albert Schauser, offer contract extension. Okay, you want one year. Eight years is 9.775. That is not terrible. I'm being hesitant here, but that's not terrible for a franchise goalie. So 9.775 times 0 0.85. If he gets under 8.5, yeah, it's 8.325. Huh. That's really not that bad. I was paying, well, we are paying Vasilevsky almost 11, weren't we? So if I go 8.35, that should go... Let's look at all expiring. And we got Leibniz, but we don't have to worry about him right now. In defense, uh, Rasmus Sandin. I really, like, I hope we see a spike in, in him. That's what I, I hope for. This guy is just going to be another another uh, depth guy for us. Nothing too crazy. These guys aren't signed yet. Um, you know what? With Sandin, I like him. He's a low 7th D now, though. That's... That's terrible. Um, I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to see what he does this season. I actually might even play him in the NHL. I might even play him in the NHL. So these guys are just unsigned. Uh, Poulin, still an RFA. Poor guy. Just wants a shot at the roster, but I just won't give it to him. Yeah, we'll just go the one, two year. And I'm going to turn lots of centers. Um, Samuel Steele. You're an 86 overall right now, bud. Yeah, you're not getting that much money. Merkley. Because um, that is just the... Oh, that is just the morale system making you feel way better about yourself than you should. Merkley, I'm going to wait on. Again, these are guys I like. But we're going to have guys in our... In the system that can fill. Oland, I don't... I don't know, man. I don't know your top nine forward. So we'll see what comes up. We'll see what kind of depth we have. So that's just the one big offer we have to get out there. Let's see if there's anything that really just is like, oh, my God, we have to get them. Jack Hughes. <laughs> Chikrin, who wants a reasonable contract. Interesting. Sidney Crosby, AHL top six. Evan Bouchard on the market wanting 6.5. Five teams interested, though. That's good for him. I mean, he did nothing wrong for us. He just wasn't the right fit. Jack Hughes, he's an RFA, obviously. So he has, he's looking for that big payday. We'll look quickly here by potential. Um, Leighton, I mean, I don't know who you are, but we will. You are a low elite, so we'll just get you. We'll get you signed. You're 78 overall, so you can't. I don't know. It's nothing too bad there. Jacob Chickering. Formington wants too much money. Okay. This is another good guy to pick up. Patterson here. Now, I know we're probably going to have too many contracts, so I'm going to have to be careful because, I mean, obviously we've offered. It says five contracts. We have 46. We're going to have to make some trades, but I already knew that going into this. I already knew that going into this. Um, Penovers. Okay, let's just look quickly at two-way. I don't want medium. I don't want anybody low. 
But this guy's 90. He's 19. He's a 74 overall. Uh, yes, please. That's the type of guy you want on your team. Medium top six. He's an RFA, though. Um, medium top four. He's an RFA, though, again. So, Barabal. Um, I mean, there's no way these guys don't sign him. But you never know. So, what the heck. You, we'll just send offers out. Because, worst case scenario, we just get a free prospect. And... That's that's fine for free prospects. So these guys are all low. So all right, and goalies, anybody crazy? No fringe starters, and they'll go to all here. So Malcolm Subban, Markstrom, Corpusalo. I didn't believe Markstrom's that old. Jeez, I think I say that every time I see it. Who's Skinner? Stuart Skinner, former Edmonton Oilers third round pick. All right, well he grew into something at least. I mean, 81 overall, but looking for, for looking for a payday. Martin Jones, he's the only guy under 30 that has potential. So, all right. I don't think, again, we have pretty good... We're, we're pretty good situation. Now, I mean, Martin Quatt, Kaut, I don't know how you say it. But he's a he looks like a pretty good player to have. He's a PK guy. He's, he's a fourth liner. We just, we have so many of them. We don't need them. Former first round pick in 2018. Ah, I would have liked them. I would have liked them. But that's okay. Top six exact. Sonny Milano, 30 years old, wants almost nothing. Just looking at ages. I'm not even looking at names. All right. It is what it is at this point. But what we do need to do is make some trades. Um, so let's find out our area. Well, I guess we only have 40 contracts. But what position do we have? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These guys have dropped hard in value. I have like I have an offline franchise mode I did before this, and it wasn't Thunder Bay North Star, it was just like my own random one. And Raymond and Holt grew to like low nineties. I don't understand what what happened? Perfetti needs to grow here. He's hitting a wall too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, he has a lot of a lot of value right now, and I don't think we're gonna. I mean, he's our ninth or tenth best player, so he's probably gonna have to go. First back of Carlson Bobrovsky. Wow. Yeah, some of these like we just have too many, too many of the same type of player. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what uh if we just go by overalls here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I mean Sam Seals are seventh best player. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 for Poulin. Foodie's 13. Kairu's 14. And these guys have all been hurt. So we're going to have to make, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I do try to trade. Let's see who signs. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we try to get rid of maybe Sam Steele. I think he's too good for us now. We'll see, though. Because he's coming up, right? Yeah, because he wants a massive payday. So I can trade him this offseason. Awesome. Jerome, welcome to the team. These guys should all sign for so one more. Peyton Rivers said yes, and Zach Castle said yes. Marcus Lamarck, renew my contract. Great. Uh, first and a second for Patty Kane. Nope, don't need him. We just said we have too many forwards. Don't need Patty Kane. All right, accept your offer. Cool, welcome to the team. All right, you have the RFA, so you might not go. Poulin said yes. Patterson said yes. Uh, decided to go to another team at this time. That's too bad. Well, I can't remember which guy you were, but that's too bad. All right, let's look at free agents here. Do we still have contract offers out? We have one. We have one out. 
Cody Glass is elite in my butt. But oh, Tavares finally leaving Toronto out of his uh out of their financial restraints. Alright, so so far we just lost one guy. Alright, Christopher says yes to the contract extension. Great news. The Calgary Flames have chosen a match. That's only fair. Only fair. So I think we got everybody we wanted. Proposed trades. We're still a champion. 43 contracts. Trade values. So what's we have here? Costin maxed out. Barkov maxed out. Uh, when Grinowski almost maxed out. Nyquist almost maxed out. Wierenski, fantastic. Ekman is fantastic. Holt, somehow, is great. Uh, he just... He, Holt might be one guy we get rid of because of his value. Arthur Ault, like, I don't know. You kind of, you had a good year, 72 points. Not great, but I'm expecting more of you. Raymond and Holt's, like, terrible. Sam Steele, though, I cannot get over his, where he's at. So, you know what? The only thing I think we can do right now is let's head to the regular season. Um, let's actually go till. August 1st. I just want to see where some of these guys are come August 1st and see if they are cheaper or if they have any late guys there that we can get for like a bargain deal for even trade chips. Um, two firsts for Marcia So, a third and a fourth on Marshall Hono last year. No thank you. Um, all right. Party and Atkinson for Brady Shea. No, I, I have faith that we're going to grow. We need to see growth here. That's my, my biggest thing is I want to see growth. Tory Krug with one year left. And Mueller for two thirds and two thirds for a second, a third, and a couple prospects. Um, two firsts for Marcia Stone, a third. Just not trades I want to make. Uh, Lindell. I don't even know. Yeah, you're getting older. Minnesota's first. So we have do have Minnesota's first. Hopefully they're not a good team. For our sake, I mean, the fans of Minnesota wish you the best. You guys were the, used to be the North Stars. Now you're LeBanc. We don't want that. Um, now you're the Wild and we're the North Stars. So teach their own, I guess. All right, let's see what free agents look like. See if there's any interesting news here. Not bad at all. Linus Allmark goes to... Ottawa. Um, Stuart Skinner trying to go to the Red Wings. All right, that's fine. Let's see who's all here. It looks like there's still some big names available. Cloud Giroux. Zachary Hyman fell off to an AHL top six super fast. My Fuglian um, was once uh, dating this girl, and, and she's like, she went to, to a game this when they were back in Atlanta. And she's like, I went to an Atlanta Thrashers game. And she's like, my favorite player, you know, it's a big guy. I'm like, oh, what was his name? She's like, Bifuglian. I'm like, Bufflin? No, 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 Bifuglian. And sure enough, it was Dustin Bufflin that uh, she saw. And she was pretty excited to, to meet him. But that was, that's my my story there. Is this Morgan Riley? Mike Riley. Petrovic, Palut, Gershi. So nothing... Nothing crazy. A couple lows. I don't really want... Again, I've said this. I don't want lows. Although, 24. Sniper. Low top 6. 74 overall. Who's interested? Doesn't say. Doesn't say. If I go like this, it will, though. Vancouver. When we get him, he'll be an RFA. I just... We don't need that many players. I just want... Ooh... If you watch X Tech, you know he loves himself some Brandon Co. <laughs> Eleven goals and assists in last year. Um, I don't really want these low guys, but even if I just use them as trade bait, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So I'll go nine hundred. We'll do nine fifty for three. We'll get a couple extra guys on the team. I mean, it is what it is. And we'll see if we can offload them in as some cap filler or 
anything to, to bump up here and try to get a few more things. But let's go to sim next season. These guys should all sign with us. Yep, yep, and yep. All right. I'm actually very curious to how our, our lineups are going to look and how much progression we have. That's what I'm I'm most excited about. Um, Tom Wilson at third for two first and party. I mean, St. Louis, you're on drugs. Tyler Jost. Tyson Jost. Tyler Tyson. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't want to get rid of the first. I just don't want to turn off this trade block yet because I want to see what's available, but... Josh Morris in a fourth for Minnesota's first. So is Minnesota looking better? That's what I want to know. What's their first round pick look like? Because ours realistically should be good. Should be good. Minnesota's, I'm not as convinced. Bobrovsky in Atkinson for Lindell and Syke. Pizik. Thomas Tatar for three thirds. Interesting and party, but it doesn't they wanted three thirds. Oh my goodness, I just let there be let there be the season. I don't remember Um I don't remember what NHL it was, maybe oh six when the cell phones came in and you can only have like three trade offers at a time and it was that was the good old days. Definitely the good old days. Um oh geez. Look how look just look how deep we are. I who scratched? Foodie and Merkley. So although obviously we don't want to get rid of Steel, if we do, that's quite a third line. Actually I would go first back to Carlson, to be honest. Uh maybe we do want to go Poulin, but I think we can get rid of Steeler. Barkov, 92, Ald, and Raymond, even though Nylander's the proper move there. Raymond, who's a sniper, power forward, playmaker. What center's like here? 83 faceoffs, 86 faceoffs, 65. Raymond does not want to take faceoffs. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's not as good as last year. Who'd we have? Where's Lucas Raymond? Oh, right there. Duh. Um, who was the other guy here then? Oh, Perfetti. Perfetti makes it a, a five. So if we okay, so if we do this again, Perfetti, Nylander, Barkov. Is there anybody I can put up here to make this better? Lucas Raymond, no. Costin, no. Okay. I just wish these guys were better together. Maybe I'll have to make some changes on player types. Okay. But it doesn't look like we had a lot of growth. Perfetti's only 82. Not a ton. Defensively, I mean, like to see that. Don't like to see this. Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's Krejci. We got to get rid of Krejci. And goaltending. This is where I really want to see growth here. Still in 85. I don't understand how growth just didn't happen. I don't understand how growth didn't happen. Who do we have? So who's sitting out then? Um, For goaltending, nobody. He must still be in the juniors then, that guy we just signed. All right. But, I mean, look, we have 72 sitting, so I'm guessing our team's going to be stacked. Yeah, and it is. Kaliev. Wow. Okay, we're looking fantastic. Um, I will set captains, but we're going to make some trades before. Doesn't mean Barkov, Klim Kostin. Sorry, all Arthur. We are unassigning you, and we are going to. Um, we'll go Zach. Is Zach a leader? Does it say? Oh, I can't look at his personality. So we'll sign a sign alternate. Uh, hopefully that makes him happier. We're just going to click done. I really don't understand why the goalies didn't grow. I was expecting a lot more growth. But it is what it is. I'm going to end the video here. It's been almost an hour. We are 
then next episode we'll kind of do a couple quick tweaks here but we are going to make a couple trades edit the lines better and hopefully become a stanley cup champion so thank you very much guys really appreciate it don't forget to like hit that subscribe button share it with your friends i really appreciate it We're looking to get some views up before the next series starts because putting a ton of effort into it which you know is completely okay i'm not complaining with that at all because this is awesome um but really hoping that it uh it sparks some interest so if you do like what you're seeing awesome if not let me know let me know what i'm doing that you don't like if there's something wrong with with the sound if there's something wrong with um maybe there's too much feedback or you can hear me do some stupid things like swallowing or sniffing sometimes um let me know things like that because i want to get better for you guys and that's the only way it's going to happen so give me as much feedback as you can um all my contact info should be available on my youtube page shoot me an email shoot me you know tweet me at uh, c stoneface um just look for me around okay guys Appreciate it very much, and I will see you in the next video.